Welcome to your new Boulder County home. Our home is your home. We work hard to be good landlords. Here's some information to help you be a good tenant. You should know the importance of having a lease and know your role in the rental relationship with a landlord. We want you to clearly understand the rules for moving in and out of your home. Our substance use policies and common mistakes for tenants to avoid. And finally, know what it means to be a good neighbor. A lease contains written rules that help you keep a good relationship with your landlord. A lease is a legal document. It protects you in court if you have a disagreement with the landlord. Be sure to keep a copy of your lease. You will need it later when you move out or if you need to remember any of the rules. Our responsibilities as the landlord are to make sure things in your home run well and work properly so your family is comfortable and safe. We will come fix whatever is wrong in the unit in a reasonable amount of time. We will maintain the safety of the property so you and your family feel safe in your home. And we will make sure your neighbors know and follow the rules of their lease too. Your responsibilities as the tenant are to follow the lease rules and let the property manager know when something is wrong or broken in your home. You are expected to pay your rent by the first of the month and to keep your home in good condition from top to bottom. Treat your home as you would want others to treat it. Inform the property manager immediately if something isn't working in your home. If something is broken and not fixed quickly, the problem can get worse. If you have pets, you probably view them as part of your family. We're happy to allow pets in our units, but there are responsibilities that come with having them. Clean up immediately after your animal in common outdoor areas and inside, of course. We want you to have a safe and friendly neighborhood, so your home is not just a roof over your head, but a part of a community you can be proud of. When you're moving in and out, that's when you especially need to pay attention to rules in the lease. The moving in process is complicated, so please give yourself enough time and energy to do a good job to make your new house a home. Contact your property manager if you have questions about your lease, and make sure you understand when your lease ends. Before you move in, walk through your new home with your property manager and take note of any damage that is already there. Switch the utilities to your name by contacting the utility company, unless utilities are included in your monthly rent. Find out where to put your trash and recycling and which day it's picked up. Learn how to use the appliances and the heating and cooling system. And this is important. Ask your landlord about what you need to do to get your deposit back when you move out. Knowing those rules ahead of time will help you prevent a stressful moving experience. If you follow the move out rules in your lease, you'll have a much better chance of getting some or all of your deposit back. And if you consistently meet your lease requirements, it's much more likely you'll get a good referral from your landlord, which will help you get another place in the future. There are other things to remember while you're a tenant in the home. When you know you're moving out, you must give your landlord at least 30 days notice. Thoroughly clean your home, including carpets before you move out. Ask your property manager to walk through your home to see what needs to be fixed or cleaned to avoid being charged. Give us a forwarding address for your mail. There is a form in your move out inspection packet. And you'll need to turn in your keys when you leave. When you sign your lease, you will also sign the substance use policy, which lists specific rules about substance use in your new home. As the tenant, you are responsible for the behavior of your family, guests, and anyone who comes into your home. You're not allowed to smoke anything in your new home, including tobacco and marijuana. Although marijuana is legal in Colorado, it's not federally legal. This makes it illegal on our property. And please know that Boulder County has a zero tolerance policy around the production or use of crystal methamphetamine or meth as it's commonly known. If you use or produce it, you will be evicted immediately, and if you have children living in your home, child welfare may be contacted. Smoking meth just one time in your home can contaminate your family, your pets, your belongings, your neighbors' homes and their belongings, and you. 
Innocent families are hurt by meth contamination, and cleanup is extremely expensive. Also, you're not allowed to use substances like cocaine, heroin, hash, prescription drugs not prescribed to you, or any other illegal drug listed in the substance use policy. Again, make sure you read the policy closely. It's important that you take ownership of your new home, your building, and your community. Report suspicious behavior to your property manager. Of course, you can have visitors in your home, but long-term guests who are not on the lease are not allowed. You will be responsible if someone damages your home or disobeys the lease rules, including the rules about substance use. As one of our tenants, remember, you are part of a larger community. Communication is the best way to be a good neighbor. Introduce yourself to your new neighbors. Let your neighbors know in advance if you're having a party. Be respectful of quiet hours. If your neighbor's dog is barking, talk to your neighbor first before calling the police or the landlord. It's the responsibility of both the landlord and the tenant to create a safe and healthy community. Because our home is your home.